Here at the University of Miami, we lead a, a large effort to improve subseasonal and uh, seasonal forecasts that uh, NOAA issues out to the public. And so we're the scientific lead for a, a new product that uh, came online as an operational product within NOAA in 2016. And it's bringing together the resources of the University of Miami and a lot of other institutions to produce the best possible forecast for, say, rainfall over North America six months from today or even a year from today. You know, in terms of weather and climate, everything is global. We're doing uh, innovative modeling in terms of how well do we represent the ocean. So we're introducing models that resolve how eddies work in the ocean and how they interact with the atmosphere. And this is groundbreaking work that we think is going to improve these forecasts over land. On any given day, I generate terabytes and terabytes of data. And looking at, at these forecasts, both the low resolution stuff, the high resolution stuff, it's a big data problem. And we need high performance computing and techniques and tools to try to figure out and mine that data for, for all the information we can get. And so we're working to develop techniques to how to mine that data for the most useful information. And these are big challenges and require big computing. The Center for Computational Science is critical for what we do. And if we didn't have CCS computational infrastructure to help us figure out how to uh, mine that data and CCS's intellectual capacity for developing new techniques for how to analyze that data, we wouldn't be where we are today. The practical applications are, are huge and widely varied. So if you're a, a water resource manager in the state of Florida and you need to worry about how long the flood's gonna last, you can use these forecasts we make to help you make that decision. If you're a fire weather manager in California and I tell you that it's going to be real wet in California, you're going to allocate your resources differently. So the, the implications are, are far and huge. 